Hey guys, so this is the next day. What is it, Monday? I don't even know what the days are anymore. It's Monday and I'm in Harrisonburg. I just, uh, I'm gonna be driving over to Shenandoah National Park, saying that no matter what happens to me whenever I'm on the East Coast, I seem to end up on the Appalachian Trail. So I'm gonna go over there. I'm gonna see sort of, uh, maybe do a short day hike, test out some, some of the new things that I bought. Um, uh, and then I don't know, just kind of have a little bit of a nice day. I've also been told that there's some good things to do, uh, interesting things to do, maybe an interesting museum to go to in Harrisonburg. So I, did, I didn't even know what the hell I was, where I was going, but now I'm gonna be on a long stretch and I know exactly what I'm doing. Um, mostly what I'm doing. I'm not 100% sure at any one time that I know what I'm doing, but I'm probably gonna be doing a day hike like I was saying. Um, you know, I, the Shenandoahs look already beautiful just coming in. So um, I'm probably just gonna kind of do that for the day uh, since I, well, I had an issue where what I wanted to do, it kind of, um, there were just some issues that kind of came up uh, and it's no one's, no one's fault or whatever, but I actually, that means that I get a chance to do some more, I don't know if you call them touristy things, um, but just do more things, different things. Um, there is a Waffle House. In fact, I think this is like, there's a bunch of Waffle, I don't know, there's just one Waffle House here. So I was told that I should go to a Waffle House at like 1 a.m. I don't know exactly if that's going to happen today, because tomorrow I have to go on like a seven hour, eight hour drive. But as long as I'm in the South, I will probably be around some sort of Waffle House. And so I at least have some sort of meal. Maybe I'm not gonna be able to have the, you know, exact perfect, uh, you know, 1 a.m. you know, Waffle House experience, but Apparently, I've been told I have to go to a Waffle House, so I'm gonna maybe do that some point in time. I mean, I do like diners, so I imagine it'll be not that bad. Owen told me that the Waffle Houses around uh, going to DC are kind of not particularly impressive, so I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to be impressed by, but um, you know, we'll just keep kind of looking around for that. And I guess I'm gonna be doing a whole bunch more videos today. It's mostly gonna be some hiking. Tomorrow, I'm going to be driving down to my family's place in uh, Georgia. Um, and I'm gonna try and, for the next couple days, at some point in time, I'm gonna try to find the Southern Terminus um, on Springer Mountain. Um, I don't know that I'm gonna spend a night there. I might want to, but I gotta work that out with my family. Um, so it's been really cool here already. I mean, just like um, being kind of like let into somebody's house and welcomed so kind of warmly and um, that kind of stuff. And like meeting other sort of like-minded people has been really, really, really nice. Um, I just, um, I don't know, sometimes you don't initially know where other folks kind of feel the way that you do about sort of the world and where, you know, things are going and also like, you know, how to kind of live like a fulfilling life. I don't know, you always meet people like that uh, all the time. So it's even cool, even if it's just kind of for a day or two, even for a couple hours, just kind of meet folks like that, which is what I did yesterday, if you see that video. I don't know what you're gonna do with all that footage, Owen, but you know, good luck. Uh, I, I can't really look at the camera that much right now because. I'm still driving. I'm still trying to figure out this whole driving and um, talking thing. Uh, most of the time you probably see me on this video, I will be having, I'll be in a larger um, highway and I'll probably have the cruise control on, the adaptive cruise control. Right now I'm trying a little bit of a different thing where I'm kind of like somewhat, there's like red lights around here. So I'm somewhat trying to kind of make it work, but I'm gonna try and maybe, maybe I'll check maybe downtown Harrisonburg sometime this afternoon. Um, I don't know. There's some really nice restaurants around here, like, uh, but just yesterday was Sunday, so they're all closed. Uh, and I ended up going to some sort of like kind of Mexican restaurant bar kind of place, which was fine. You know, the food was fine. Um, yeah, but I'll kind of catch you guys around and um, I hope that these videos are interesting to you. Um, and uh, I don't know, like, like, follow, subscribe. Like, follow, subscribe, sponsor us if you want any of the peep things that sponsor us. Uh, I wish we got sponsors. Actually, I don't really care. If you want to sponsor us, sponsor us. If you want, if you don't, don't. But um, 
I'm still gonna be doing what I'm doing and uh, we'll keep we'll keep it rolling. Hi again guys. So <laughs> I had the weirdest time trying to find the trail and it's literally across the street. I met these really nice ladies who I'll probably maybe they'll be in the video maybe they won't but uh, they're right just behind me right now. Um, what can I say? It's like many other parts of the AT. It's mildly rocky. It's not super rocky like um, like a rock scrambling area or anything. But apparently I'm going to the high top mountain and it's a three hour hike both ways. So we'll see where we're, where we're at with that in a little bit. It's supposed to be pretty decent weather, but it will rain later today. So I guess that just is what it is. It's a little buggy, don't know what else to say, but good to get some miles in, especially after all the hours that I'm going to be, um, all these hours that I'm probably gonna be um, having to, having to just be stuck in the car. It's pretty buggy, but we'll have to just deal with it. Um, I didn't treat my clothes, because I didn't think that I'd be hiking this early into my trip. But I really probably should just go back to the house and do that right after this, maybe tomorrow or something, treat my clothes and just be done with it for a little while. Okay, so I'm gonna give a situation update. I'm really sweaty. It's hot, well I'm hot. It's actually perfect weather. Um, I say this is about a three hour hike, so it actually shouldn't be that long. Um, it's only like a mile and a half to the top. Um, it's almost all uphill though, so. That's probably why I'm, see I'm glistening here. Um, but hopefully we'll be able to make it pretty soon um, or whatever. I don't know how much further it goes. It's only, it's only like 860 mi uh, feet up. Whereas me and Owen will be doing, I think something like 3000 feet the first day on Yosemite. But I don't think the trails are quite rocky like this, but either way, the elevation is elevation. Uh, you know, obviously we'll have whole day to hike that, those 10 miles and that 3,000 feet, but you know, I think I have to get conditioned for all that. All right, I'm gonna kinda get, keep moving. It's a perennial problem for me, I'm getting sweat in my eyes. I'm not wearing my bandana, which I probably should do. People say I should get a hat, I don't know. But it's actually flattened out quite a bit, so that's why I'm doing a little more filming here. I'm not, okay, hold on a second. Uh, uh. Why do I have to be so, such a sweaty person? <sighs> yeah. You know, when I'm not doing anything, I'm not a particularly sm sweaty person. But when I do, I start sweating. It's kind of weird. So, anyway, it's, uh, it's not that bad. And I always feel like the first mile or so, whenever I start hiking from not hiking, you feel like you're gonna die. And like, you can't make it. And why did you even decide to do this? That's not true. But eventually I think your body just goes, oh, we're, we have to work there. Okay, kick it up into high gear. So I feel a lot better. Again, also it is a lot more sort of flat, but uh, let's see where the top of this so-called high top mountain is. But as you can see, we're getting, it's flattening out. We're getting some open, the trees, tree uh, canopy is starting to open up. So this is a pretty decent hike. Oh yeah, I think I'm closer to the top. So we'll see where that is. I don't think I reached the summit, but I'm in a nice little lookout area probably pretty close to the top. So I'm probably gonna just rest here for a little bit. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna rest for a little bit, enjoy the weather. I guess since this is a pretty slow, this is a pretty easy hike, I suppose to, I can kind of like relax for a bit. Um, so yeah, we'll just sit here and, I don't know, see what, uh, what life has to, to help me.
Oh, Jesus. I just went maybe a quarter mile or a half mile, and I realized I didn't have my phone. And here I just found it, right, just right in the, uh, the middle of the, the road, or the trail. Thank God. I think I have to be a little more careful when I put this in my pocket. I've got a bunch of other crap in there that I wouldn't normally, and I think I'm gonna stow it somewhere else. Um, I didn't find the lean-to, but I think I'm, I think I'm heading back. That was a real scare. Um, you know, like I said, I have to find a store to get another phone otherwise, but thank God. So here we are again, back where I started. But uh, having gone a hike, hopefully a little bit wiser today. Uh, wow, that's a big, hold on a second. That's a huge, that's a huge fly, look at that. Wow. It's like, like an inch and a half large, the, that fly. Anyways, so here we are, we're back, uh, back where I started. Now I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do because eh, it's like three o'clock. Maybe I will check out town. I guess it's probably not enough time to do another. I mean, there's plenty of time. I guess I could do a total other hike if I wanted to. Is it a fly? Is it a moth? I don't know what it is. I'm not a entomologist, but uh, that thing's like, yeah, it's like the size of like a, a thumb. Interesting.